Hello everyone, welcome to this brand new video on the FIFA 18 player rating predictions. So in today's video we are going to be doing Juventus players. And first off in this video we do start with Alexandro. So in FIFA 17 he did have an 84 rated left back card with 87 pace, 64 shooting, 75 passing, 81 dribbling, 79 defending and 76 physical. And in FIFA 18 I predict he will go up to an 86 rated plus zero to his pace. I think his pace will stay the same. Plus he's shooting and passing. Dribbling staying the same and plus two defending and plus two physical. Looks like a really, really good card. Was good this year as well and looks like he'll be great again. Next, we do have Buffon. On FIFA 17, he did have an 88 rated card with 87 diving, 88 handling, 68 kicking, 84 reflexes, 49 speed, and 90 positioning. He did get a team season on FIFA 17, so I've predicted he will go up one rating to a 89 rated on FIFA 18 with plus two diving, plus one handling, kicking, reflexes and positioning staying the same and because EA likes to drop pace, his speed will go down by 3 to 46 but still looks like a really really good keeper and 89 rated is very good rating. Next we do have Chiellini, on FIFA 17 he did have an 88 rated card with 74 pace, 46 shooting, 53 passing, 58 dribbling, 90 defending and 85 physical and on FIFA 18 I predict he will have a 90 rated card which is plus two from his 88 on FIFA 17 but He'll have minus two pace because he's a year older again, so he'll drop his pace. He'll have same shooting, plus two passing, same dribbling, plus two defending, and plus one physical. Looks like a really, really good card still. Next, we do have Quadrado. Did get an upgrade on FIFA 17, I do believe, to an 83 rated from an 82. With 92 pace, 76 shooting, 75 passing, 88 dribbling, 55 defending, and 68 physical. So on FIFA 18, I've predicted he will go up one rating to an 84 rated with plus one to his pace, plus two to his shooting and passing, and dribbling, defending and physical all staying the same. Just a little upgrade, but still looks like a good card. Next we do have Juventus new signing, which is Douglas Costa. 84 rated on FIFA 17, with 92 pace, 78 shooting, 78 passing, 86 dribbling, 48 defending, and 63 physical. And on FIFA 18, I've predicted he will go down a rating, because he didn't play much for Bayern Munich this season, and didn't get any informs or anything like that. So, I've predicted he will go down one rating, but his stats hasn't changed much. Only minus two to his shooting, minus one to his dribbling, minus two to his defending, and plus one to his physical. Basically the same card still looks really good and will be good in your Serie A teams. Next we do have Dybala. On FIFA 18 he did get an upgrade to an 86 with 88 pace, 86 shooting, 77 passing, 90 dribbling, 24 defending and 66 physical. And on FIFA 18 I predict he will go up two ratings to an 88 rated with plus two pace, plus one shooting, plus one passing, and plus two physical. Dribbler and defending staying the same. Looks like an unbelievable card and is playing really, really well in real life. Next we do have his Argentinian teammate, which is Guayin. 89 rated card on FIFA 17 with 80 pace, 87 shooting, 69 passing, 83 dribbling, 24 defender and 75 physical. And on FIFA 18, I predict he will go one rating, slight upgrade, with only plus one to his shooting and passing, and plus two to his physical, with his dribble and defender and pace staying the same. No only eight, his pace might drop, but hopefully not, as that looks like a really good card. Next, we do have Marquicio. On FIFA 17, he did have an 86 rated card with 77 pace, 74 shooting, 83 passing, 83 dribbling, 76 defending, and 75 physical. And on FIFA 18, I have given him a slight downgrade to an 85 because he didn't play all the games for Juventus last season, so I think he deserves a slight downgrade, only with minus two to his pace, minus one to his dribbling and defending, all the other stats staying the same. Only a little downgrade, still looks like a really good card. And finally we do have Pjanic, on FIFA 17 he did have a 85 rated card with 74 pace, 75 shooting, 86 passing, 84 dribbling, 64 defender and 68 physical. And on FIFA 18 I've given him a slight upgrade to an 86 with plus 1 to his shooting, plus 2 to his defender and physical and his pace, passing and dribbling all staying the same. And that's going to be the end of this video, if you enjoyed this video leave a like, let me know if you agree with my predictions and if you don't let me know why and what you would rate the players. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you did enjoy this. Also leave a comment what other prediction videos you want to see from me in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.